X is the interview segment of Marketing Edge on TV. I had an exclusive chat with the director of commercials at TVC Communications, Ronan Redmond. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right, you're welcome to the interview segment of Marketing Edge on TV. Today, I'm honored to have with me in the studio, I have the uh, commercial director, TVC Communications, uh, Mr. Ronan Redmond. Thank you very much for your time, Ronan. Thank you for having me. Clue. It's really it's great to, to have you. you yeah, and it, I have to congratulate you. Well, it's a, it, it's a happy time. Milestone of 10 million daily viewers. How did that come to you, that figure? What do you think about it? Yeah, the, the recent research just released says that all our channels, TV and radio and online, combined reach 10 million viewers and listeners every day. It's a phenomenal achievement. Um, how it came about is simply a, a strategy and hard work to do. Um, three years ago, when TBC Communications underwent a huge transformation, we did a huge amount of work on each of our channels. We rebranded all of our TV channels and we relaunched our radio station. And our focus is quite a simple one. Whilst it's quite a complex strategy, it's quite a simple, it, it's quite a simple premise. And the premise is, we try and produce content every day that engages with an audience. So the audience is first and foremost our priority. And it was our intention three years ago to set ourselves a target of trying to reach 10 million viewers and listeners every day. Because as a commercial organization, we rely on advertisers to fund this business. Advertisers need to reach as wide an audience as possible. So hence, we felt by trying to target 10 million viewers and listeners, um, that was achievable over three years. And if we were able to do that, then we'd be able to grow our share of advertising revenue. And it was a huge sense of pride for the company to be able to tell the market in the last month that after three years and after the massive investment by the owner and the board and by after the massive amount of hard work by the 600 employees, we were able to reach that magic number of 10 million um, viewers and listeners. So indeed, that's exciting, I must say, at uh, this time. It, it, it really is. It, it really is. But, you know, media like many other industries at the moment, is hugely challenged. You know, mm. they, it's, it's a bittersweet moment for us to lose because we've spent three years trying to get this to this point. Unfortunately, this point that we've arrived at, we're facing the worst global pandemic. Indeed. We're announcing GDP numbers, the likes of which we've never seen before. We're in the worst recession for 30 Indeed. years. Indeed. Ad spend is down. True. So unfortunately, uh, we've reached this point when it's really economically challenged and advertising is really economically challenged. So it's bittersweet for us. However, I suppose six months into the pandemic, if we look back and reflect now the last six months, the work that has been done over the last three years in building TBC communications into the media powerhouse that it is in Nigeria today, a lot of that work has meant that we're in a very strong position and we were able to ride through, I suppose, the storm of the pandemic of the last six months. And we remain in a very, very strong position to be in a position to, I suppose, ride the wave of growth, which will hopefully come next year. Well, you've identified the investment and um, all of that. Now, what more in particular made this happen, this feat possible? It, it was a complete change of strategy for the company. We, uh, we had been a company maybe three years ago that was very narrow in our focus and very narrow in our, I suppose, our news focus. Um, but we are much more than a news channel. We are not just a news channel. In actual fact, what we tried to do over the last three years was turn the company into a media and entertainment organization of which news is a very important yeah. part. But that meant that we put as much emphasis on TBC, our entertainment channel on television, and on our radio assets, whether it's Max uh, FM in Lagos or Max FM in Abuja or Adaba FM in Ondo. We put as much effort and energy into creating great content on those channels to attract a bigger audience as we did with the huge relaunch work we did at TBC News. So strategy really important, and I suppose giving the viewer 
of each of those channels and the viewers to each and listeners to each of those channels are different. You know, the True. person that consumes Max is very different to the person who consumes TBC mm -hmm. News. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very, very clear in the product off we, we, we we're giving to each of those audience. And I think we have achieved that. And that comes from our great staff um, understanding the audience that they are creating content for on a daily basis. And now three years later, the audience goes, we love that content. And that's why we continue to engage with TBC. Uh, I'm looking at this already. The brand is being repositioned. Yeah. Uh, the positive part of it, despite COVID-19 and all of its effects, do we still see, uh, talking about our relationship now, maybe with the advertisers and all of that, what more do we expect with this uh, global, do we feat that we've yeah, achieved? Yeah, well, we're, we're talking, Today, you and I, historically, we're talking about the last three years that got us to this point. The world doesn't stand still, marketing doesn't stand still, advertising doesn't stand still. So what got us to here was fine, but the journey doesn't end. The journey continues. We are on a path to growth. We want to be the number one media and entertainment business in Nigeria. We're not there yet. It's a very competitive marketplace. Some of the areas we will look at now going forward are areas we didn't really consider in the last three years as we were focused on getting the core elements of our business right. Um, but going forward now, the, 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 the ad market is changing. It's no longer suffice just to put spots on television. It's becoming an area of branded content, branded entertainment, where brands want to get much closer to, I suppose, the consumer, and they do that by interwoving their brand stories mm -hmm. into our editorial narrative. A perfect example of what I'm talking about is Big Brother Niger. Big Brother Niger is setting the bar for branded content in, in this market. Um, it has done in other markets, but it's certainly doing it, doing it now. And if you look at Big Brother now, which is dominating everything in marketing at this point in time, for these 12 weeks. You look at the likes of Betway, you look at Guinness, Tolerant Group, each spending hundreds of millions of Naira to get their products and get their brands onto set. Um, and the reason they're doing that is because Big Brother Niger attracts huge audiences. And the reason it attracts huge audiences, those audiences love the entertainment content. So brands will follow the eyeballs, which will follow the entertainment content. And we have to become better at that. We have to try and move more into that space. So you'll see uh, a huge effort from TBC Communications in 2021 and beyond in the whole area of branded content, partnerships with um, uh, brands, co-creation, co-production, big, big, big co-creations and big, big pro uh, co-productions, you'll see a lot of that from TBC as we move forward. And that is simply us moving with the times. Indeed, and we really must move uh, with the times. Now we've seen change of leadership around the uh, around Advan, Triple A, and uh, just uh, you know the and yeah. um, my pan. Now, yeah. how do you see this uh, affecting the entire advertising space? Yeah, I, I welcome. I welcome it. Um, it, it gives me some uh, realm of optimism for the industry. I've spoken to you many times in the past about my thoughts on the Nigeria advertising market. I've told you I don't believe it's performing the way it should do. It doesn't mm -hmm. contribute uh, to GDP the way it should, and it certainly lags well behind the South African uh, advertising market in terms of spend. In actual fact, the market here, the ad market, the spend has been declining since 2016. So, you know, COVID-19 simply exasperates that issue. One of the areas identified as an issue was there was lots of different trade bodies, but they all operated within their own little, um, let's call it within their own little silos. Um, to me, it needed more holistic um, thinking and coming together and collaboration to present the case for advertising and investment, investing in advertising. And I welcome the individuals. They are very, very capable, high profile individuals in this market. And they're already on record as laying out their plans for the um, advertising market going forward. I welcome that and it gives me optimism. <music>